we're going to do a science experiment today. So, you probably are wondering, another how to do raisin floats? Didn't you already do that with pop? I did do it with pop. But, the pop already has premium carbon dioxide in it. So, in this experiment, we're going to do a similar floating raisins technique, but with baking soda and vinegar. They will react to each other and cause carbon dioxide, which will cause bubbles, which will cause the raisins to float up and down. Ready? We're using cranberries or something. I'm not 100% sure, but they'll work. So they're just floating there at the bottom. Now to add the baking soda. Okay, I didn't know how this was going to go. The rings are already kind of floating. They're already at it. Well, the reason that they are doing that is because the bubbles are attaching to them and they're floating upwards because they're getting, the bubbles are making them less dense. But the g bubbles um, pop when they reach the top so they become dense again and sink to the bottom. I'm not Unlike the pop, I don't think this will go on for as long as it did in the last. And they aren't and they are still crazy magnets. Wow. So if you want to try this at home, you just need some vinegar, baking soda, and raisins or cranberries, and a drink like this. It doesn't have to have the Star Wars Imperial symbol on it. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.